ITBC What's the Deal. So I'm on BoxingScene.com and I saw a very, very interesting article here. Um, <laughs> it says, Anthony Joshua versus Zhang Zhili eyed for the future in China, okay? Um, let me go ahead and read some quotes from Eddie Hearn here and I'm going to go ahead and chop it up with you guys. Hearn had an interview with the Press Association of Sport. He says, when you plan someone's career like Joshua, you can tend to plan in advance. And I think we're two years away from saying we can sell out the bird's nest in China. I think Joshua's going to be a global figure, and therefore I've got to give him global platform. Okay. I was in Shanghai last week, and we were talking. As soon as you show people pictures of Joshua knocking out someone, they get excited. Hearn also added, he's a heavyweight who is almost seven feet tall and we can do it with pay-per-view audience and tens of millions of Chinese people watching it. Sometimes these things don't happen because people get beaten, but our job is about creating these kinds of moments. Um, As far as the matchup, I think Anthony Joshua beats him just like he beat him in the Olympics. If you guys haven't seen that fight, um, it's on. I know it's on Daily Motion for sure, but you can probably find it on YouTube. He knocked him down. You know, Jili Southpaw stance. He was just on that uh, undercard, the Andre Ward, uh, the Andre Ward versus Sullivan Barrera un undercard. It wasn't televised. Um, there's a few fights of him on YouTube. A fight against Juan Good. A lot of people thought Juan Good probably won that fight. I thought Jili won the fight, although he got knocked down. But I thought uh, he won that fight against Good. Um. Amateur experience, you know, 2008 bronze medalist. Um, you know, he was in the 2012 Olympics. He that's when he lost to Joshua. Joshua actually fought him the fight after that uh, Irizlandi Savan fight, a fight I thought that he lost, and that was two southpaws in a row. But he handles Jali a little bit better. Jali not didn't have the reflexes as Savan or the hand speed or the foot movement. Jali isn't a total. Uh, when it comes to skill, he has some skill. Has some counter punching ability. Nice left hand. He's a big guy, six six, about two hundred fifty pounds. Um, but I see Joshua winning this, and it's funny because that knockdown he had against him in the Olympics, it was actually a counter right hand by Joshua. Jili tried to walk him down, and he got caught. And he was actually doing better when he was fighting out of the counter punching position. He's a big guy, you know. Was undefeated, I believe. He's like eight and zero. Was he eight and zero, seven and zero, or something like that? I understand where Hearn is coming from. They're trying to make Joshua a global superstar. They're kind of looking past Dominic Brazil. But like he said, it's kind of hard not to, you know, when 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 you have somebody that's looked at as a phenom or a sensation, you know what I mean? But uh, as far as this fight, I really don't see it going that many rounds. You know, I, you know, from the business side, if Hearn wants to see him go over there and sell out arenas, that's fine for him. Good for Anthony Joshua. I'm not even sure that Zhang Zhili is the one that even deserves the fight. If you're talking about guys fighting out of uh, China, you know, I'm not even sure that he's the one that even deserves the fight. Um, I would like to see Zhili probably have a box off, you know, have you could have a box off with uh, Taishan Dong. I would probably favor Zhili against Dong. Um, but what's the other guy? Uh, what's the other guy? Zhang Long Zhang, is that his name? I believe he's undefeated. There's like three undefeated guys out of China that I've that I've covered, man. So maybe Jali can fight uh Zhang Long Zhang or maybe Taishan Dong. They have some type of box off, man, to see who can fight Anthony Joshua. Being that Joshua is getting ready to fight Dominic Brazil. I looked on Box Rec earlier and I saw that uh Jili has a fight coming up in May. There's no opponent and it's supposed to be out there in China, so I don't know, man. I think a box off should take place first. I don't think they should just give the fight to Jili. I know they they fought in the Olympics, but that was four years ago. It has nothing to do with today. Um, but shit, Dillian White fought. <laughs> he fought Joshua in the in the amateurs, and that was, you know, uh, he was undefeated, and that was one of his claim to fame was knocking down Joshua and beating him. Situation different in this in this well, this situation is different because Joshua beat him in you know in Olympic setting or the or amateur setting. So what do y'all think about this fight? If you haven't seen Jali fight, I would encourage you to go watch him on YouTube. Um, he's a big guy, you know, nice left hand, nice counter puncher. 
Uh, he's up there, and I believe he's like 33, 34. I don't have it in front of me, but I think he's like 33, 34. He's been around, man. He's fought a plethora of the top amateur guys. Joshua, when he was there. Uh, Ivan Deitchko, who's going to be one of the favorites this year at Olympics. Um, he's beaten, uh, did he beat Joseph Parker? I think he beat Joseph Parker. I know he had a fight with Glasgow. I mean, he's fought the best of the best, man. But this is the pros, you know. And um, as a pro, he looks okay. You know what I mean? He doesn't doesn't look like he's on the level of a uh, Anthony Joshua. Now, if he's fighting at home, maybe, you know, he can um, get the motivation from his home crowd and maybe he can land a big left hand and end the fight. But I expect Anthony Joshua to beat him if they were to fight. But what do you guys think about this? Do you think it's uh it's a good thing? Do you think uh, this will help him become a global superstar? I know Hearn wants him to fight an American and build an American fan base. That's why they picked Dominic Brazil. Um, I guess they're trying to get him all over the world. You know, who knows? Maybe if he's still undefeated and still wants to travel, maybe he'll go to Poland and fight Izuagano or something. Or You know, they're trying to make him a big star, man. So I can't get mad at Eddie Hearn from doing what he has to do with Joshua. But Gili is not a fight I want to see. But some fans probably argue, hey, Dominic Brazil is a fight I don't want to see. You know what I mean? So what do you guys think about this? Let me know. YTBC, I'm out.